Dave Rockow from Armageddon Turbo here, and today I want to tell you a little bit about our testing procedures for doing all of our engine development. So prevailing knowledge on a turbo system is that it's free power, and that's true. Typically with a supercharger, you have to use the crankshaft to spin either a belt, chain, or a gear drive to run your supercharger, and that takes power from the engine, and while a turbocharger is exclusively being run off of exhaust pressure and heat. But there's a catch. Because the turbo is in the way of the exhaust free flowing, there is something called exhaust manifold pressure or back pressure. And we call that drive pressure. And so it's very important when we're developing a turbocharger, turbocharger system, or even checking the health of an engine for us to monitor both the manifold absolute pressure, which we're used to hearing about, we also need to be following the exhaust manifold absolute pressure. And that's what this little port you see on this prototype manifold does. So this is a copper tube and it runs all the way over here to another manifold pressure sensor, not unlike the one that's being read on the intake manifold. Now what we're doing is monitoring the ratio between the manifold pressure, so the forced air coming into the engine, versus how much pressure is going into the turbocharger or coming out of the engine. That ratio is really important, and as a general rule of thumb, once we get to two to one, meaning two pounds of exhaust manifold absolute pressure versus one pound of manifold absolute pressure, you know the turbo's got nothing left to give and you're gonna start hurting the engine. And in a perfect world, we actually don't wanna go much beyond 1.5 to one, but in a street setting, you're gonna wanna have more response than that not really gonna happen when you're really pushing the turbocharger hard. So this is what that looks like. This is how we monitor the efficiency and the current state of the turbo. Make sure that we have the turbine wheel itself sized appropriately and the, the correct turbine housing on that wheel for any given engine combination. Dave Rockow from Armageddon Turbo. Like, follow, and subscribe us on the social medias and follow along as we develop this and many other exciting turbocharging products.